water. It fills our cups, greens our lawns, cleans our bodies, and enables life. Nothing can survive without water. It is the backbone of island ecology. There are three basic types of water in Pacific Island National Parks. Freshwater from streams, marine or salt water, which makes up the oceans, and brackish water, created when marine and fresh waters mix. Water can provide valuable clues about the health of the plants and animals around us. Even small changes in temperature, nutrients, acidity, or oxygen levels can have major impacts on the water in our islands, especially on sensitive plants and animals that rely on certain water conditions for life. Oils, fertilizers, chemicals, and runoff from eroded landscapes build up in our streams, pools, and lakes, and eventually flow into the ocean. Using cutting-edge water quality testing equipment, National Park Service inventory and monitoring scientists record the physical and chemical characteristics of the very water that island and ocean life depends on for survival. What we do in the water quality station is we first drop down these canisters called Niskin bottles. And these water samples that are taken up are retrieved to look at things like nitrates and phosphates and other aspects of water chemistry very concerned in the National Park about sediments on reefs and a lot of it is tied in with erosion and poor landscape or land use practices that essentially leave ground or areas open and exposed so that when it rains real hard they come flushing down into the ocean and we're trying to get a handle on how much sediment is coming into the ocean, where it's ending up and if it has any deleterious effects on the coral reef environment and the fish communities. Whether in the sea or on land, water quality measurements reveal much about the health of the environment. Through the monitoring program, we get a sense of whether these are changing or not. 